In this video, we're gonna make the top 10 lists a little bit more dynamic by adding the ability to select the metric that you want from a drop-down list and having your list automatically update. All the same features will still apply. You'll be able to select the number of athletes that you would like to see, as well as switch from low to high or high to low. So let's get after it. Okay, so we're starting with the sheet the same way that we had it at the end of the last video. And if you haven't had a chance to see that video and figure out how we got this far, then I will link that video right now in the top right hand corner. And you can go check out that video to find out how to create this top 10 list. A couple features from this list. We have the ability to select how many athletes we would actually like to display, as well as rank our values low to high or high to low. Now, before we get into this video, I would I need to remind you that if you're finding any value in these videos, please like and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification so that you'll be updated whenever there is a new video. So without further ado, let's get after this project here. Now, if you remember from the intro, the first thing that we're gonna have to do is actually create a drop-down list here where we can select from the different metrics that we have. In our data list, you're gonna see that we actually have um, a data tab and we have three different metrics for this particular data set, a bench, a squat, and a deadlift max. Now, if I go back to my video tab, in this bench max um, box, we're gonna create a drop-down list using those metrics. So what I'm gonna do is I'll go to data and then data validation, it'll open up this box here and it's gonna ask me to create a list from range. I'll just click the, the select data range icon and I'll go over to my data and I'm going to select C1 to E1. Okay, and that is going to be my list and when I hit okay and then save, if I go back to my video, I can now actually switch the metric that I want to look at. Now you'll notice that it doesn't do anything to our sort list yet, so we have to put this metric now into our sort list. So this is the formula from our sort. If you see, we're sorting the, the data from A2 all the way to C. So in this case, it looks like this, A2 all the way to C, so all the way to bench max, and then um, all of the other conditions of our sort. What we wanna do is actually sort the data from A2 to whatever metric we choose. So what I'm gonna do is inside of this formula, I'm going to add a filter formula. And to do that, I'm just gonna do it off to the side here and we're gonna see if we can pull out the correct range. So what I'm gonna type is equals filter and then when it asks me for uh, my range, I'm going to need to put in two ranges. So if I put a squiggly bracket in here, I have the ability now to enter multiple ranges. So for my first range, I'm gonna to go to data and I'm gonna select the first two columns because I know I'm always gonna want the athlete name and the date. So when I delete that, you can see now we have data A2 all the way down to B. Now, for the second range, I want to select one of either the bench, the squat, or the deadlift max. So I'm going to need to tell filter which one to look for. So if I go back to my video tab, you can see it's closed that off. I'm just gonna go back into my filter, comma, for my second range, I'm going to use an index and a match. So I'm gonna index, and what I'm going to index is all of the data. So A2 all the way, in this case, to E, and you can see what it's given me. And then comma, comma, one more time for the actual column. And in this column, I'm going to type in match. And I want to match for the one that we've selected, F2, and then comma, where do I want to match for this? I want to match for it in the headers. So what this is going to do is it's going to take the F2 value and then go across data one one and look for which one that is and return that column. And then false because these have no order associated with them. Now when I close this off, that will be my second data set. I can close off my squiggly bracket. And then for filter, what I need to do is add a condition. So my condition is going to just be that there is a value in the name column. So I'm gonna type in data exclamation mark, 
a2 to a, and I'm gonna choose that when it does not equal. So all this is saying, if we look at this, we have filter, our first range a2 to b, and then comma, we're index matching for our second range, and then our first condition is going to be that when there is a name in the name column, so we're going data a2 to a, and then when that does not equal nothing. So when I close this off, you can see now we get our range. And if I'm to switch the actual value, you can see that these numbers actually change in corresponding with our value. What I can do now is take this whole filter formula and I can just copy it as is and go to my sort and where it has data A2 to C, I can now paste that right in there. And that now becomes our um, range that we're going to return. Now the last thing that I'll have to change is now where we have started to um, organize our values here at, by data C2 to C. In this case now, we're gonna delete that and we want to organize our values by column three because column three is going to be always where our data sits. And when I hit enter, nothing's gonna look like it has changed, but now when I switch to different metrics, you can see that the values associated with those metrics um, change. So all we've done now is taken our sort and for our range, we've just filtered out the range that we want and added that right in there. And then we are sorting it now by column three. So that's just a quick way to start to make your um, top 10 list a little bit more dynamic. And you could do this with any number of columns that you want. And if you do this properly, it creates an awesome visualization or way to display your data. So I hope this trick helps you out. And if it did, please like and subscribe to the channel. And if you could share this video, that would be awesome. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you.